guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Aja Mateo here, and I am back with another video. If you didn't read the title, if you guys are interested in watching, um, just words of encouragement to all of my fellow business owners, please, guys, continue watching. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just really wanted to come on here as like a story time and just talk to you guys about, you know, just words of encouragement because during, since the pandemic, I noticed a lot of businesses have started, which is good. Like, that's great. We want to see more businesses come out and conquer. Like, we, we really should have been doing this, but it's okay. I just, one thing that I've really noticed that's been bothering me, it's been on my mind is... A lot of businesses that have started have stopped you know they're they're going cold turkey and I just really want to say this mind you I started my business before the pandemic it was before the pandemic in 2019 and you know I went through a very hard time about two months ago right and I didn't know how to really get out of the funk. I was in that funk for about a couple of days, maybe like three days. Okay, so it wasn't huge, but it was huge to me because I eat, sleep, drink my business. And if it's not about my business, I'm just like not even thinking about it. Of course, you know, not talking about my kids and stuff like that. <laughs> um, I mean, as far as like, I just want to be successful. And I strive for that. And I... I'm like, you know what? No matter how long it takes, I'm going to get there. I'm going to put the blood, sweat, and tears into this business because this is something that I crave. This is something that my body just burns for. Like, I just have that fire for it. You get what I'm saying? Um, so, I want to say, uh, was it yesterday? Was today? <laughs> I think today is February 6th. My app was actually lied i have a pinkish app you guys please go download it um it's just pi go to the app store or the google play store it's just p-i-n-q-i-s-h um if you guys want to shop on my website it's www.pinqish.com but i just want to say this because before this app came out right um i just made a huge announcement on it like on facebook yesterday but today like I, yesterday I couldn't stop going live like I couldn't stop just you know telling everybody but today I posted videos I posted you know pictures and stuff like that of the app you know I got my first sale on the app store and I was very happy shout out to Destiny White shout out to Destiny White like I really appreciate you know you being the first to purchase from my app you will not be like disappointed I'm going to put some free stuff up in your order girl thank you as a I really appreciate you and that just made me so happy <laughs> um but yes two months ago I would not have thought that I was coming up now like let's just be real like looking at my myself two months ago I was so upset like I was on the verge of quitting I didn't quit but I just was like you know this is it's not going anywhere like I just was so upset and then to keep on going and keep on pushing and keep on praying and putting God first and asking God God what what is it that I'm missing help me please because I really really want this I like need this <laughs> you know if you were to just keep going you will see the possibility of the amount of success you might come across all right if you were to quit and when times get really hard if you quit gave up you will never know where your business will go and i'm quoting that from steve harvey steve harvey said that i listen to a lot of motion evader, emotional emotional <laughs> <laughs> I listen to a lot of motivational speakers or just people speaking facts because they were in my shoes, your shoes. They were in our shoes one day and then they just kept on pushing. They never gave up. That's why they're, they're successful. That's why these big businesses, these big companies 
blow up because they don't stop. When the time gets hard, they don't stop. They don't just quit. I'm here to say that because, you know, I see so many businesses, they're not posting anymore. They're stopped. This is one girl. I was watching her business. She really inspired me. And for me to see that she really is giving up on her business because it got too tough because she got so many orders. Isn't that our dream? Isn't that our goal? To get orders. We want a lot of orders. We want a lot of people knowing who we are, knowing our brand, wearing our brand, using it, sharing it, posting it. You know what I'm trying to say? So I just want to tell y'all, when y'all come across these big businesses and you're just like, why are they so successful? How did they become so successful? Because they started years ago. They started some of these businesses. I do my research. I do not stop doing my research, whether it's my competitors, whether it's just people, just businesses, period. I do my research and I follow and I watch their whole path, their trail, their journey, because I'm like, I know I'm going to be there one day. I'm going to be there bigger and better. You get what I'm trying to say? And when I look at their, where they started from, some businesses, it's this one business started six years ago, just started blowing up out of nowhere. Because why? They didn't stop. How about, um, let's talk about Apple. We all know the Apple story. We all know that story. Steve Jobs, we all know what he, he went through. We all saw the movie. Did we not? We're entrepreneurs. We should be watching movies like that. Look where these businesses come from. They got told no. Steve Jobs isn't the only one that got told no. A lot of people get told no. Everybody gets told no. Does that mean you're going to stop? You're going to stop because you got told no? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. I'm going to move around you. Because just because you told me no, I'm going to move around you. And when I do pop, when that one yes come around, you're going to be, it's going to be shame on you. So, don't stop pushing. All these big corporations, all these big companies, they started somewhere. They started in grandma's kitchen. They started in their kitchen, mama's kitchen, whipping up products. They started hands-on, just like us. Somewhere, some way, somebody didn't believe in that dream. Somebody didn't believe in what they believed in. And they still didn't stop. My business means so much to me. I'm never going to stop until I'm in the grave. And when I'm in the grave, my kids, I teach my kids how to do my business. My kids are too. Well, my two-year-old, she just... She'll play in my lip gloss, like I'll catch her playing in my stuff and I got to throw it all away or I'll just give it to my kid. Most of the time, I'm giving it to them. <laughs> but I'm teaching my six-year-old daughter. She's watching everything that I'm doing because when I am in the grave someday, which pretty God that I, I hope it's not no time soon, but that she'll know how to take over. I'm sorry, guys. I just got a phone call. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I really hope that this hits somebody's heart and just to pick up where you left off, pick up where you stopped, go back, do some research and get it done. And it's like, I noticed in my business God has been blessing my business in ways that I didn't even realize. God will put an idea in my mind, something that I was never thinking about, or an idea right in front of me, literally, right in front of me. And of course, it's up to me if I want to snatch that and go, you know, handle that. Or I could just ignore it. When God puts something in front of me, I'm going to accept it. Okay? You get what I'm saying? And that's how I know that this is supposed to happen. And 
That's why I'm trying to help you guys. I pay so much attention to when it comes to different ideas. I'm always thinking of a different idea on how I can stand out, how I can be bigger and better than my competitors. And most of the time, my business, people, when I push and try to whip up my own ideas, you know, people don't really pay attention to them like that. But when God puts that idea in front of me, and it's like, Diaja, I want you to do that and, you know, work, work your magic with that. That's when, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm yelling, I'm just getting excited. That's when my business gets blessed because I put God first. I put God, God is the owner of Pinkish. I'm just managing it. And yes, I got that quote from another entrepreneur. I pay attention to entrepreneurs. I listen to what they say and I, it sticks. If you can't tell, that's because I got this passion. It's this fire just burning inside of me. I want to give a message to myself. I don't know when I'm going to look back at this. Maybe two months from now when I really need it. More words of encouragement. I want to encourage my future self. Five years from now, five months Five minutes from now. Don't give up. Aja. Go back. Do some research. Pray to God. Ask God to help you, guide you, mold you. Don't give up. If you need to restart, restart. Get your mind together. Don't give up. Because, like I said previously, if you give up, you'll never know what the outcome could have been. Steve Harvey. But if you keep going, you never know what you are going to accomplish and achieve. Because if you give up, there will be nothing. There will be no accomplishments. You won't achieve anything if you quit. I love you. I love me. Keep going, girl. I'm 26 right now. I just had to throw that in there because I don't know how I'm gonna be, how old I'm gonna be when I really need these words of encouragement. Because we all do. Please, y'all. I, I really hope that this hits somebody. I hope that this hits and touches somebody's heart. Put them extra blood, sweat, and tears, a little sleepless nights in there. Don't stop. Keep that fire burning. Sometimes you might have to relight it. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Because when you reach the top, it's only nothing but the top to keep on going. Because you're not going to fail. You're not going to fail. Just keep going. Don't stay where you at right now. Keep trying. Keep doing research. Marketing research. Um, just any kind of research. Keep going. I'm, I'm being so serious because I see a lot, of, like I said, I see a lot of businesses giving up. Don't give up. Again, Please, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Go download the Pinkish app. It's P-I-N-Q-I-S-H. Or if you want to shop on the website, www.pinqish.com. Please, guys, go to my Instagram. It's underscore P-I-N-Q-I-S-H. Or if you want to go check out my personal page, it is, um, what is it? Oh, the real Aja underscore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this resonates and touches somebody's heart.